or I'm actually not sure who managed to find Tingana, but to whoever it was, well done. But there he is, lurking in the long grass. There we go. Sorry, Taxon's just repositioning. Well, I think he's actually pulling out of the sighting now. But he, it's very, very difficult, of course, um, to see him in that long grass. Now, what is he? Maybe he's eating something. I can't quite see, and I, I just got the update. It is, does look like he's maybe eating something, doesn't it? Now, you saw him last night with Jamie all the way on Cheetah Plain, so he's walked quite far. We're near Gwari Pan at the moment. I wonder what he's got. Maybe something quite small. So it, he walked a fair amount of kilometers last night, but he does that. He has to, being the resident male in this area, he's got to make sure that he keeps checking constantly making sure no young males are trying to come in and take his spot. Now I'm just trying to figure out what he's managed to catch himself. It could be anything. It could be a scrub hair. It could be a bird. Maybe he's just licking his paws. But it's a little bit hard to see as you can see he's obviously disappeared. Hmm. Let me see if I go forward. Tree position just very quickly and see if we can get a view. Maybe I can then shout over to Tax and ask if he's eating something or if he's just grooming himself. It looks like he's trying to get something out of his mouth. Let's see. Now, this grass is a lot taller than the grass that Hosanna was sitting in this morning. What has he got? Maybe he's just rolling in the grass. You see, I only just got here, and I wasn't able to, of course, have a chat with Tex to find out. Hello, Sheila from San Francisco. Now, you're wondering, how do we tell the difference with all the, the leopards? Well, lots of experience, because as soon as you look at a, a leopard for the first time, it's virtually impossible to tell who it is. Most of the time, you can really only get if it's a male or a female. So... Sheila, there's, there's quite a few different things that we can do out here in the bush. One of the most important things is, of course, a spot pattern, which we use for research purposes to I identify the individual leopards. And uh, so that's just above the whiskers. You'll see they've got lots and lots of spots. If he pulls his head out of the long grass, then we'll be able to see it. And you will use a ratio system. So we'll have the, the spots on the left-hand side of his face versus the spots on the right-hand side of his face. But also, a lot of these animals have got other unique markings. There's, there's no leopard, no two leopards that will have the same spot pattern. Um, and, in, and I'm not even the spots on his face. I'm talking about all the rosettes on his body. And Tingana's got the most amazing feature. He has got a smiley face. So for all of the regular viewers out there, who perhaps have a beautiful screenshot of Tingana's smiley face that he has on his shoulder that is in the form of his rosettes. Please can you share it? Hashtag Safari Live so that we can show everyone. But Sheila, there's other ways. They can have tattered ears, for example, like our old man Mvula. Uh, he's quite easy to, to spot. Just if you, you look straight at his ears. That's what I do every time I see him. And I go, yep, they've been torn to bits and bitten by flies and that type of thing. And then, well, oh, so he wasn't eating anything. He was just grooming himself. He's big boy. But yes, there's many different ways. Scars, for instance, look at him full more. If we don't just talk about leopards, we talk about lions as well. He's all scarred up on his face. So they've all got these individual markings. But the more and more you encounter them and you spend time with them, you start to notice certain sort of features. And that's an easy way. But it is tough. So I get confused all the time. But luckily, I have all of you who are watching to help me out when it comes to trying to identify these leopards but he's a beautiful boy he's got a very big dealer and I must tell you Tingana was actually a hot topic of discussion last night I was saying that in the the nine months that I've been here at Wild Earth I cannot believe how much he has actually grown um, he, he was always he's always been a big leopard but now my goodness those shoulders his neck it seems as though he's almost just doubled in size and he is in the prime of his life now he's about almost 10 somewhere around there now this is going to be very tricky because uh, the area that Tingana is disappearing down into where I've driven many times I've also walked in here if you remember when we had 
Boris the crocodile. He was down in this drainage system. It's very difficult to navigate. It's not just one drainage system. It's lots and lots of almost uh, eroded gullies, which makes it quite difficult for us. Let's see if we can get another view. He's gone that way. And I know there's a spot down here on the right where I think we'll be able to poke our noses through. It's going to entail a bit of off-roading, but let's go and have a bit of fun. Haven't done any off-roading this morning, or well, very little with Hosanna. I think we go in here. I'm just trying to remember the last time that I walked in here. And that's also what's so important about walking on the properties is that you're able to sort of uh, get an idea of uh, the sort of landscape and all the vegetation, where you can and where you shouldn't drive. Let's see. I think we could get a view here. Let's quickly see. I think we might get there he is let's get one quick view of him in case this could be the last one that we have it's just down there you can see him just disappearing into the drainage but i'm going to keep following i'm going to try my absolute best maybe he's going to settle down now because it's starting to get quite warm byron is of course still on bushwalk let's go and see what else he's got up his sleeve 